Okay, we're back in the game, and as you can tell from the loading screen, it's Medieval 2, Total War, and the um, Kingdom's Expansion. As the um, famous, infamous Teutonic Order. Right, we wiped out, or well, I did, but you watched me do it, uh, the Lithuanian faction last time, but we also got backstabbed, didn't we, by the Blasted Poles. Well, I call them Blasted Poles this time because they did backstab me. But I've already done a grand campaign um, as the Poles, and I loved that. They had really good cavalry. And it was fun to play. That was actually one of the earliest campaigns on the channel, in fact. All right, so we also got a peace treaty. Uh, I forget how we got that. We got the peace treaty by allying with the Mongols, I think. So we got the peace treaty with Novgorod. We will and beat them up later on um, but yeah I'm gonna try and take them out as a heretic so we've got a, a lot of defensive units up here Ooh, we don't have anyone in there can you take them probably all right good for you mate good for you get in there two mongol diplomats and a Novgorod diplomat now we uh, destroyed all the buildings in, I think that's Marienburg, and that's um, Thorn, isn't it? Yeah. So they're not really worth too much. Uh, but they their capital over here, and they've got buildings in there. So we might as well just try pushing there, take out that little village. There's a citadel there. That would be nice to capture, because that would give us the best troops that we can ever get. Alright, there's our diplomat. He's just going to keep an eye on him for the moment. Alright, you're ready to upgrade. We will upgrade you, because it makes the life harder for the enemy when they try to capture it. Now, how much do we have? Less than 10k, and we uh, already invested some, like over 5. Alright, we do have a bunch of rebels. I don't know if we get another crusading general coming back uh, from Britain. We had one, didn't we? Don't we have troops on it already? We do. We wanted the artillery, that was it. Where was I getting some artillery from? That's what we need, is artillery arty. I know it's an honour for you to serve me. Alright, I know I was getting some artillery last time from some... Alright, yeah, that's an actual general there. Right, he's gone. Send you back into there. Send you back into there. And you're going into there, which is just a little village. I mean, we've got a lot of troops there. I know they're taking up a lot of money. We've got Novgorod forces coming through our territory. There's Novgorod. They're not a war of anyone, so why are they going through my territory? And that could be a bad sign, couldn't it? Could be a very bad sign. Alright. I'm going to send you over there. Well, there's some artillery. Well, I feel like there was a lot more. Alright. Maybe we'll just bypass them. Oh, they put more troops in there. What if... Ah. Intercepted. Could have been more careful going around. Alright. Well... At some point, we will have to get rid of them. As you can see, they do have good cavalry. That's a particular favourite of mine, the mounted crossbowmen. Um, those are good because those are jav cav. Alright. 
can I merge up there? We need to get rid of this guy. Okay, he's a goner. We've got a lot of uh, rebels in our territory, don't we? For some reason. Get those taken care of. But I want to say there was even more artillery being prepared. I could have sworn there was like three units I was getting. But we really only need one. Up there. Right, he can't even be retrained there. He can. So we might as well move those in any case as well. There's some more equipment which cannot be um, trained there. Right, those can go into there, but those ones will have to go up to leader. We did spend a lot of money, didn't we? Right, you're now on the front lines. Ooh, putting the uh, list of maker there might be better. Nuremberg. We need more income. I'm going to have to invest all my money. Into income generating buildings. That should give us growth. Well, more growth. Try our little empire. Hmm, don't really need to do that unless we're getting attacked. Right, uh, we still have a little money left over. I think Novgorod is going to backstab us, but I was hoping to get that army over here and sack that large town. That's what I was hoping to do. Now it's uh, late evening, and I've already got my coffee. I'm just waiting for it to cool down. By the end of the recording, it should be cool enough to drink. I think. Hmm, I don't think there was anyone else who was being trained. Oh, we can now get the merchant cavalry. Those are useful white cavalry. They're better than the Necton. Uh, or sometimes they're better than the Necton. But it is good to have another type of cavalry. I guess it's because we got the um, merchants killed. We don't even have any merchants. I think that must be from capturing certain settlements. But then we lost some settlements. So I'm not sure how we got it. I don't think we've had a merchant since episode one, have we? All right, there they go. Last of backstabbers. Well, we didn't have an alliance with them, did we? Just a piece. Now let's see if that's going to break our alliance with the Mongols. Now we're going to get crushed. Is it even worth fighting it out? Hmm. Probably not. The amount of missiles that will come in against those would just be ridiculous. I'm surprised we killed that many. That's why I didn't do any construction there. All right, let's see the uh, diplomatic situation. Ah, no, they broke the alliance. That benefits me. No end. All right, I'll have to do that later. Need to focus on the military. Well, that was 
fairly obvious it was going to happen. Um, as we get him on there, oh, they brought up more troops. Right, I'm going to land. And I will put them under siege. Now, maybe the Poles will send some troops over. Maybe they won't. Uh, it doesn't look like they have a port there in any case. They are coming up against Konigsberg, but we can also bring in those troops, giving us most of a stack. Right. So that's the only ones who can be retrained there, isn't it? Can't even retrain the crossbows. And we'll bring those ones over as well. And, well, I can bring them up here. Can't I? Why don't I send these against their settlement and see how they like it? Might be useful getting some artillery and some crossbows just in case we get attacked by those. Right. Hmm. Well, I'm going to bring those back so we can strike over here. Now, striking there won't give us much, but it'll make it easier for us to kill off their army because they don't have any walls. Well, at least I think so. Alright, I don't know what's up here. I know Novgorod is there. And apparently there's not really anyone in there. So that's what it's looking like. So I might as well go and merge what I can. Now they got some forces up there. Alright. So that one might not even upgrade. I should have perhaps. Well, let's let's do it. Then I'll at least have one set of walls. Well, we've got 5,300. Let's get some more of those. Well, when can we get more of those? One more turn. That's not bad. Let's uh, merge him. Actually, not even merge him. Let's get some more units. Need mobility, not immobility. Right, some uh, archers would have been useful there. Do I have any archers up there? I don't. Right. We're going to be facing a lot of cav, but. Killing off the Polish cab will be easier with the pikes than it is killing the Novgorod forces because they have a lot more missile units. Yeah, they're just going to push right through. Let's see if we can capture Danzig and sack it. And you know, a spy would come in really useful. I'm not even sure if I can get a spy. I don't remember seeing a spy available. There's priests, merchants, diplomats. Yeah, why don't I have any spies? Probably because I haven't built the right building and recruit any. That would most likely explain it. Yep, doesn't look like any anywhere, does it? Right, I'm going to use my diplomat. There he is. Keep coming back. I want to see what's up here because. There's a port, although it's for the Imperial docks. It does say it's a village. Hmm. Actually, I could get him over here. If we sack Danzig, we can give back to, um, or we can give it to the Imperials. Right, they're going to put up a good fight over there. Right. 1200, 1350, 2460, outnumbered slightly. 
where we weak at missile troops. We got one. All right. Oh, he's got a lot of uh, artillery. One, two, three, only three. Yeah, again, a lot of cavalry, a lot of missiles between them. That's going to be the problem, isn't it? All right, we're going to have a big battle. We've got to kill them at some point. Well, we can at least move up here. Get you on fire at will. And we've got a bit of a hill. Alright, so that starting army, that's going to have just artillery, isn't it? From what we can see. We're going to have to defend as much as possible. Use those trees to block the enemy as well. We've only got this one missile unit. We've got a fair amount of spears now. Actually, a really good amount of spears. And those are quite solid. We also have trash units. Let's move you a little closer. Alright, swords, swords, and swords. Is that it? No, we've got another unit of swords. And then that's it, I think. The enemy have brought up more men. They Keep going. Okay, the looks like the majority of our troops are over there. And back there. Yeah, he's already turning. Yeah, you need to come on over there. That's what you need to do. Already got in amongst those. Looks like they were abandoning their equipment. Right. Push through. Need to kill them off before their reinforcements get in. Quick, quick, quick. We lost two men. Come on, they're all breaking. I'm going to see if I can hide the cavalry over here. Okay, those have been seen off. Which way are you facing? Not really facing where you need to be facing. Archers. Yep, face over there. There's a little gap in our lines. Oh, I see somebody. I'll find him. 
Is that another unit? That's three men running off over there. I thought we'd kill, killed them already. All right, speed it up. This uh, it's probably cavalry. Yeah, those are quite strong even in melee. But those are the ones who have javelins. I'm hoping that we won't see. Well, this one isn't hidden, is he? Yeah, go and work, my general. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well, so he can see us defeat the rest. Of All right, these ones are firing. I mean, that's a nice big blob, isn't it? Yeah, you fire over there too. Have we been spotted? This one still isn't here, is he? No, okay, now he's gone into hiding. But if they get close, they will discover them. Still hidden. How's it looking? Six versus nine. They did outnumber us, remember? But they're yeah, just going to be lobbing a lot of missiles at us. At least until their infantry gets really close. Time to come out once they get engaged. They are tearing up those strong infantry units. Let's plaster the heavy cav. Yeah, they got missiles as well, or artillery, I should say. You might be able to take the um, retainers. Now we've got more blasted cavalry coming. I'm not being attacked on this side just yet. Yeah, look at that, they are tearing them up. We're going to have to go forward. If we stay there, we're just going to get decimated. Get stuck in. Probably going to lose this general. Well, he's done a decent job there. No, there he goes. <laughs> we know that saying, don't we? We've heard that many a time. Far too many a times. Well, we'll get another chance to add adoption. Soon enough. Get in there. This unit actually did quite well against Polish nobles up to the, this point. Hoping nails will rally wherever they're at. I mean, we're, we're defeating their infantry. Looks like we are. It's 34 versus 29. It's not that one-sided. We did expect them to get a lot of kills. Um, through their missile troops. They have rallied. Those are Howards. Right, see if we can get to their trebuchet.
Let's go a little over our time limit. Come on back. Really? Uh -huh. right, where's your equipment? Get on it. Alright, can you come back and deal with them? You should be running. Those are actually wavering. Get back on your equipment. Yeah, we caught up to them. Oh, and then they go and break. Might want to click on them. Oh, both of them. Well, they don't have very good morale. In any case. We rallied, but we're a long way away from anyone. They're going back to their equipment. Polish infantry is quite weak. They have a dismounted um, Polish noble unit, which acts as decent spears. Oh, even you've rallied. Go and kill those if you can. You're a long way from the action. Turn around quick, quick, quick. Get them with your pokey sticks. Well, I've got 175 prisoners in any case. But that's most of our. Mm, that's all of the units. There it is. Uh, we have to wait for the AI to chase down a few more troops. Come on, come on, there it is. Alright, eight, nine thousand and twenty. Yep. Yeah. We've lost Gunther von Gruningen. That's a shame. Now I can have my coffee though. Mm. Now I can have my coffee. Now we don't even have the money to pay to get them back. Oh, come on. Where did all those troops come from? Alright, so that's 1150. Alright. Over 2000. If I withdraw, can I get on the ship? Well, that's where we're going to call an end for this episode.